to talk to the Father right now. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's uh, consecrate ourselves to him. Let's tell him with your own words that we love him. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we worship you. Father, we just want to declare this morning that we love you, Lord God, that we love you, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. Father, we just want to declare this morning, oh, Father God, our love for you. We declare our love for you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, because you first loved us, oh, Lord God, we thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for your everlasting love with which you have loved us, with all of God. Father, you have loved us, all of God, Father. Yes, even from before the foundation of the world, oh Father God, desire the best for us. Desire, oh Lord God, to be with us, oh Lord God. Desire to be with us, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we bless you. We worship you, Lord God. We worship you this morning. We glorify your name. Father, we magnify your name, oh Lord God. Father, we just want to thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, Father, for your loving kindness. We thank you, O oh Lord God, Father, for the love, Father God, that you have loved us with, O oh Lord God. Father, we thank you that, O oh God, you loved us first, that you loved us first, O oh Lord God. You loved us first, O oh Jehovah God. Yes, in the name of Jesus, while we're yet still in our sins, you loved us, O oh Father God. Therefore, this morning, we come before you, O oh Lord God. Father, reciprocating that love, O oh Lord God, that you have for us, O oh Lord God. Father, we love you. We love you, Lord God. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Father God. We love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the love of God be shed abroad in our hearts this morning, O oh Lord God. Father, let our love for you be shed abroad in our hearts, O oh Lord God. But even as we call upon the nations, even as we call upon you for the nations, even as we call upon you for the nations, O oh Lord God, Father, let that spirit of love Father, drive us. Yes, let that spirit of love drive us, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Even as we pray for the lost, even as we pray, Father God, for each country, for each continent, oh Father God, for the cities, for the people that are there in Jehovah God, let our prayer be driven by the love yes, that you have put in our hearts for you, O Jehovah God. Father, help us to love the things that you love, O Lord God. Help us to love the things that you love, O Lord God. God. Help us to love the people of Father God that you love, O Jehovah God. Yes, your word says, For God so loved the world that you gave, yes, even your only begotten Son, O Father God. Let that same love, Father, operate in our hearts. Let that same love operate in our spirits, O Lord God, that we do so, O Father God, as we pray. Let us do so, Father, in love, O Lord God, in that same love, in that same love, in that same love. Oh, la rababa shanda balaraba. Sienda <laughs> Oh, yes, oh God, yes, a love for the nations, a love for the nations, let there be a love, a love for the nations, oh Lord God, a love for the nations, a love for the nations, oh Lord God, but let the hallmark of Father God, 
this blood to follow God, Father, that will be driven by love, that will be driven by love, O Lord God, love for the nations in the same way, O God, that you so love the world, 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 that you gave, 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 your only begotten that you gave, yes, your only begotten son right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you, Father, we worship you, Father, we glorify your name, Father, this morning we give of ourselves, this morning, Father, we give of ourselves, we give of ourselves to you, we give of ourselves to you this morning, we give of ourselves to you, Lord God, we give of ourselves to you, we give of ourselves to you, Lord God, name of Jesus, we give of ourselves to the Lord God, we give of ourselves to the Lord God, the nations, Father, we give of ourselves to you, we give of our time to you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, we consecrate our lives to you, we consecrate our lives to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and so Father God, we give our lives to you, Lord God, for the nations, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus, O Oh yes, oh God, we worship you. We worship you this morning. We bless your name this morning. Father, we glorify your name this morning. Father, we say, let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that there is none like unto thee, oh God. There is none like unto thee. There is none like unto thee, Father. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, oh Lord God. Honor and praise belong to you, Jehovah God. Glory and power are yours, oh Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray right now that even as we call upon your name, oh Lord God, Father, arise, oh Father God, arise, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let your enemies be scattered, oh Father God, across the nations, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let your enemies be scattered, oh Jehovah God, proclaim the nations for you, oh Jehovah, proclaim the nations, oh Father God, as the people they bring, they belong to you, they belong to you, they belong to you, they belong to you, Jehovah God, they belong to you, they belong to you, just belong to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, the nations belong to you, yes, they belong to you, Father, therefore this morning, we enthrone you as king, we enthrone you this morning, we enthrone you, Lord God, we enthrone you, Father God, wherever we are in the world, we enthrone you, Father God, in Europe, we enthrone you, Father, yes, in the UK, we enthrone you, in North America, we enthrone you right now. In South America, we enthrone you, Lord God. In Oceania, we enthrone you, Jehovah God. In Asia, we enthrone you. Yes, in Africa, Lord God, we enthrone you. Yes, be Lord over all. Be Lord over all. Be Lord over all. Be Lord over all. Be Lord over all, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh Lord God, we bless your name. Bless your name this morning. We exalt your name this morning, oh God. Father, we exalt you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
Shanda. Oh yes, oh God, we bless your name. We bless your name this morning. Father, we glorify your name. We lift you up, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Let us be quiet before the Lord right now. Let us listen to what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Just be quiet before the Lord. And if the Lord is laying a word in your heart for this platform, for the nations, for pastor life, uh, please feel free to speak it. Otherwise, let us be quiet before him and let him speak. If there's something that the Lord is saying to you, don't hesitate to speak it. It could be for the nations, it could be for this platform, as the Lord lays it in your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Mm. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to bless your name this morning. Thank you. Father, we just want to glorify your name this morning, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you are here in our midst, oh Lord God. Father, where two or three are gathered together in your name, you are present, you are there, you are here. Father, we are gathered here, Father, because of the things of the kingdom of God. 
We ask you, Lord Jesus, to draw near to us, even as you drew near to those men who were walking from Jerusalem to a mouse, O oh Lord God. Mm. Your word says that their spirit burned, even as it talked to them, O oh Lord God. Father, we pray this morning that your spirit will burn within us, O oh God. Father, ignite us this morning, O oh Father God. Ignite us this morning, O oh Father God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, let us be on fire for you. Let us be on fire for you. Let us be on fire for you this morning, O oh Lord God. Light up, O oh Lord God, our hearts this morning, O oh Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the spirit of burning. We thank you for the spirit of burning, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Sister, Susan, Sister Susan Matsuga has a word from the Lord, and that word says forgive. Amen. It says forgive. The word is forgive. <clears throat> hallelujah. I do not know how you came to the platform this morning. Um, Perhaps there is an issue with somebody close to you, perhaps in your family. Uh, we need to let go. That's what the scripture commands us, that when we come to the altar, we need to go back and forgive those who have wronged us. Amen. Let us just, just talk to the Father right now. Uh, there could be something in your life. There's someone who has wronged you. There is somebody you know, whom you are saying, hey, that one, you know, I don't want to see again because they've done such and such to you. But I need you to release them right now. The Holy Spirit needs you to release whoever it is, you know, that you are holding a grudge against or whoever is holding a grudge against you could be the other way around. Let us just talk to him right now. Hallelujah. If, if you are not sure what it is, uh, you can begin to pray the Spirit as well. Hallelujah. You can unmute yourself and pray in the spirit and just ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to forgive whatever needs to be forgiven. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh, Father God, we thank you for the spirit of forgiveness, O Lord God. Father, help us to forgive, O Lord God. Father, help us to forgive. Father, to forgive, O God. Father, to forgive. Forgive, O Lord God. Forgive, O Lord God. Those who have wronged us, O Lord God. We lay everything down at the altar. We lay everything down at the altar of Father God. And Father, let there be a spirit of forgiveness. Let us be this platform of Jehovah God. Help us to hold any crisis, to hold any crisis, not to hold. Marianda Balara Babasianda Balara 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 Oh, Hallelujah. He yes. says he forgives us our trespasses, even mm. as we forgive those who trespass those against, trespass against yes. us. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. That's what our Lord Jesus Christ uh, taught us, he taught us to pray. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. um, Brother mm -hmm. Allen also mm -hmm. has posted a word on the chat. He says that he feels the Lord is saying to him that he mustn't worry. For I shall say that we mustn't worry about anything. In any circumstance that we find ourselves, we must relinquish everything to him. 
let us seek his kingdom wholeheartedly. Amen. And he will make the crooked path straight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just Amen. thank you for that right now. Father, Amen. we receive Amen. your word to seek your kingdom wholeheartedly. Yes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That you may seek it, that what Hallelujah. you've gathered here Hallelujah. to do, Father, to seek your kingdom. We thank you, Father God. Thank we thank you, Lord God, for the circumstances we find ourselves in. Father, we hand them over to you. We hand all our circumstances to you, Jehovah God. We relinquish everything to you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, that our focus will be on you. That our focus may be on the kingdom of God. The words is seek ye from the kingdom of God. Yes, and his righteousness, O Lord God, and seek us will be added to us. So we thank you, o Lord God. We thank you, o Lord God. We thank you that you make the crooked path straight. We thank you that you make the crooked path straight. Even as we call upon you, Father, you make the crooked path straight. You make the crooked path straight. Even in our lives, O Father God, we thank you, Jehovah. We bless you. Your name, O oh Lord God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. O la raba ba ba la raba ba 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 la raba zina. Ariata kabala la raba siyanda ba la raba muru 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 we exalt your name, O Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Just this last point uh, before Pastor Light comes on board. Uh, uh, Brother Peter in Austria says, uh, Seek first and only Jesus Christ without believing in him as, uh, believe in him as the Son of God. Without him, uh, he, there's no way to God. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it means, uh, Brother Peter. To follow the global church agenda will be the way to hell. So really, Jesus Christ is the center of everything. Amen. Uh, Amen. Jesus Christ is the center Amen. of the church. Amen. Uh, Amen. Not the things that we have created as men. You Amen. know, all the machinations of a religion. Uh, that's not what counts. What counts is that Jesus Christ is the center. Jesus Amen. Christ is the center of this platform. Amen. Amen. He's the one Amen. that we exalt. He is the one that guides us. This, he is the Lord of the harvest. Amen. Amen. He says he will make, Amen. if we pray and we call unto him, he will make, uh, you know, he will, that we should ask for the laborers, you know, so he will give laborers into his harvest. It is Amen. his harvest. It is not our own. Therefore, Father, Amen. we just give everything to you, Lord Amen. Jesus. We give everything to you, Lord God. We look mm -hmm. to you this morning, even as yes. we continue we in prayer. We look to you. Yes, oh God, above in the name of Jesus. Above all dominion. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Above yes, you are Lord. 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 Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take a little more, Sanda Balara Raba Sanda. Yes, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, on you, on you, on you over your church. Yes, you are Lord over your church. You are the Lord of the harvest. You are the Lord of the harvest. Father, this harvest that you are crying out for, you are Lord over it. You are Lord over the harvest that you are crying out for. You are Lord, oh, Father God. Yes, yes, you are Lord. Yes, over Asia. You are Lord over Africa. You are Lord over Europe and the UK. You are Lord over North America and South America. You are Lord over Oceania, Father. Yes, yes, we acknowledge. We acknowledge that you are Lord. We throne you, Lord. We throne you, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 He says also, ask of me and I will assuredly give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. You shall break them forth with the rod of iron. You shall shatter them in pieces like earth and wind. That's Psalm 32 verse 8 to 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Pastor Light, we just hand over to you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, to God be the glory. Good morning once again, everyone. 
All right. Um, because of time, we are going straight into the war room for the day. The war room for the day. Um, we won't have enough time to go through all the nations as we usually do um, traditionally every morning. This hour, we are stepping into the war room. This week, we are worrying over a particular issue that has been in the tongue, on the tongue of the flesh of the people of God. And that is economic empowerment economic empowerment for kingdom advance, economic empowerment for kingdom enlargement and the establishment in every community, in every city, in every nation around the world. Now, I want to use the first prayer. I want to take it from Psalm chapter 30, verse 5. It says, for his anger endured for a moment in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy cometh in the morning. I hear the Lord say that the church globally, the church in Australia, the church in Asia, the church in North America, in South America, the church in, in Europe and the UK, the church in Africa, the church in the city where you are, the church right in your house. You know, church is not just a building. Church is the ecclesia, the called out ones, the called out ones, whether they are three, whether they are five, whether they live in a house or they live in a hut, they live in, in the, in the, under the tree, they represent Zion, they represent the ecclesia. He says, though, 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 how do we put it here? He says, in his favor, Say favor is for a lifetime. His favor is for a, a for a lifetime. Though weeping may endure for a night, he said that the church has been in a night season. We are stepping out of the night season. Say the church, the ecclesia is stepping out of the night season into the daytime. Into the daytime, the breaking forth of the sunlight. And when the light comes, when the morning comes, when the night is over, the morning breaks forth. He says. There's going to be joy, economic joy, economic transformation, economic empowerment is coming to the people of God. They sense in the light. They sense in the light. The sense can be in the darkness, but a time comes for the darkness, darkness time to be over. And then the light breaks forth. Now, I want us to pray, decreeing and declaring. Yes, New Living Translation says, for his anger lasts but a moment, but his favor lasts, lasts, lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, through the night, say, but joy comes in the morning. So the night time is over. In my life, in your life, in the life of every man, every woman in this platform, I stand as God's messenger to this generation on this altar together with you to declare that the night time for the people of God is over and we are stepping into the morning. The morning brings joy. So we are going to prophesy over every, every Christian, every child of God that is over there in, in India, over there in Dubai, over there in China, over there in your village, over there in South Africa, over there in Nigeria, over there in Afghanistan, over there in Mali, over there in Kuwait, over there in Saudi Arabia, over there in the United States, over there in Canada, over there in Austria, that the night time is over. Brother, the night time is over. Sister, the night time is over. All the forces of the night, all the powers of the night. In the night, you can't see the road. In the night, you see opportunity, you will pass it. In the night, you see treasure, you will overlook it and pick rubble. You can see a, di a diamond can be where there is a piece of rubbish. You pick the rubbish and if you won't see the diamond because there is darkness. In the night time, you wouldn't know what to do. You're confused. You are weak. You are lazy. You're sleeping. 
But when the day breaks forth, joy comes. Joy comes because you will see what you need to see, which you have never seen. You will see what you need to see. Opportunities will break forth in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south. In the daytime, your help will come. In the daytime, your help will come. That is what we want to speak into the air. Now, remember, the Lord laid something in my heart. He said, when Job prayed for his for his friends. When Job prayed for his friends, what happened to him? His captivity was over. His captivity was terminated. And God restored to him double, double. God gave him double, double what he used to have before. So as we are busy interceding, traveling, warring for the, re, the for the end of the night season and for the breaking forth of the day that will lead to prosperity and victory and abundance of God's goodness and riches and mercy. How can the Bible say that riches and honor belongs to God? That riches and honor belong to God. How can the Bible say that the whole earth and all of the fullness belongs to God? All the blessings of this earth belong to God. And then the redeemed of the Lord is living at the mercy of people. Is the living at the mercy of people. No, this should not be. It has to come to an end. It has to come to an end. Blessing will spring out of the land, out of the ocean, out of the moon, out of the sun, out of the star. The blessing will spring from all elements of creation from places we have ever thought and places we have never thought it has never crossed our mind that such places such people such open doors will be our portion so let's begin to prophesy it with our over our brothers over our sisters even the people in this platform begin to prophesy it over the people in this platform as you are prophesying over the people and over the nations you are prophesying also for yourself shall we begin to pray shall we begin to pray man they so pray katap Please unmute <laughs> Yes, there is a the upon our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Wisdom, Lord, you are the one who is 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 the one who is
in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Joel chapter 2 verse 25. Joel 2 verse 25. It says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the great, and the, it says, it said, and my great army, my great army, which I send among you, among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Say, my people shall never be put to shame. He said, and ye shall know that I am the Lord in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and none else, and none else, and my people shall never be put to shame. He said it the second time. So I want us to travel before this war room today. And what is our prayer? Lord, your people shall not be put to shame anymore. No man, no woman in any nation, in this room, in this boardroom, I mean, in this, in this war room, even those that will watch it on the YouTube at any point in time, as many that will stand with us to travel, none of them shall be put to shame or shall be ashamed because of anything that has to do with money. The Bible says money answers all things. We don't look for money. Money should look for us. We don't look for money. Money shall look for us. That is the plan of God. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things, all these things people die for, they will seek for you. They will be added unto you by the mighty hand of God. That by the mighty hand of God. God can do in one year what a man cannot achieve in 100 years. For sure, for sure. Look at this life of Israelites and you will know it. That in one day, they emptied Egypt. What the Egyptians refused to give to them and their ancestors for 430 years, it was delivered to them in one day, in just one day. So God in one day gave them a salary of 430 years. What a mystery. I want us to pray that the years that have been wasted, wasted years, wasted years, wasted opportunities, wasted opportunity, wasted chances, wasted connections, wasted contact, wasted favor, wasted grace, wasted times, wasted chances. He said the years the enemy, the enemy has, has, has eaten off, have eaten off, 
God will restore. No matter the army, no matter the agents of the devil that did it, no matter the root of it, be it ancestral curses and the wickedness of the wicked and obstructions and prejudice and rejections and the deprivations, whatever brought about it, that God Almighty will move the land and move the sea, move the moon and the sun and the star, move all creation to fight for you, to fight for the righteous, to fight for the redeemed of the Lord. All over the nations, as many that bear the name of the Lord, Lord, let God hear our cry from this altar and release unto them such blessing that will end their shame, such blessing that will end their reproach, such blessing that will end their harassment and their, and their humiliation before men and before their workplaces, so much that they will be satisfied. He say, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. I know some people here are not looking for what to eat. I know that very well, but we are talking about having satisfaction. You see, yourself feeding a thousand people a day. You see yourself giving scholarship to one thousand people. You see yourself taking care of up to one, up to five hundred, you know, widows. You see yourself building, you know, solid, you know, economic establishment to transform communities. You see yourself giving to hope to the hopeless around the world. That is what we are talking about. Let's begin to pray that God will restore unto us from this platform to everyone in the nations that bear the name of the Lord, the years that have been wasted. Shall we begin to pray? Please unmute yourself and travel. It is a war. It is a war. God will answer in the name of Jesus. Oh, Thank 
do not waste opportunities but to now I want us to pray. You know, there are ways God bring people into wealth. There are ways God bring people into wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for he, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. You know, God gives people power to get wealth. He gives people power, power. That power could mean insight. That power could mean favor. That power could mean idea. That power could mean physical might. That power could mean, you know, creative, you know, wisdom. Wisdom. The psalmist David calls it wisdom for witty invention. Wisdom for witty invention. When Jesus was a carpenter, the Bible describes him as the most successful carpenter in his days. How did I know? They, asked, they said, is he not the carpenter? Is he not the carpenter? Which means his carpentry work became so prominent that everybody, you know, if he is in Cape Town and they are looking for a carpenter, they say, go to the carpenter, not a carpenter, the carpenter, the carpenter, the best, the most excellent carpenter in the city, the spirit of excellence. I want us to pray that God will release wisdom for witty invention, creative insight, creative idea. There could be a block, you know, people could be molding blocks, but Insight comes on a man to mold his block in a different way. People could be manufacturing electric bulb, but an inspiration can come to manufacture an electric bulb that people have never thought about before. People could be making, you know, something, you know, I've been saying it on this platform and please get ready for it. There is an anointing for invention that has never been seen before. There is an anointing on this altar for invention, for creativity, for new innovation in the different things, in the area of farming, in the area of in different industries, in different fields of endeavor, creative insight, creative idea and inspiration to make wealth, to make wealth, to attract wealth, different ways of investment, different kinds of investment. There are different kinds of investment existing in our nations that God is preserving for us and want to bring us into across the globe. There is a business you are doing. There is something you are doing right now. God is going to give you inspiration, idea, power to take it from, from, from category C to category A, to take it to the highest category, the best, the best in that territory. The doors will flung open in the east, west, north, and south. Global doors. Because you've been laboring for the global restoration of God's man mandate, God will also call the nations of the earth to open up for you and for your business to triumph. Shall we begin to pray, Lord, give us inspiration for, for wealth creation 
ideas for wealth creation, power for wealth creation, intelligence for wealth creation. Let that prayer capture everyone on this platform and let that prayer capture every man, every woman that bear the name of the Lord, that honor the name of the Lord in every government, in every institution, in every organization, in the different NGOs. Those of you who are running NGO, those of you who are running, you know, you know, in estates of whatever kind you are doing, that God will help you to distinguish yourself and your business and your operation in a way that you become the magnet that will draw people's attention. Shall we begin to pray? Please pray, pray, pray. Omit yourself and pray. Mighty God, we call upon you this day. the joy of the Lord. We pray for the things that you have blessed and shall spring forth with excellence. Lord, I know that what I can, what I spread, Jesus, we pray for the joy of the Lord. We pray for the joy of the Lord. to miss them, to make the right go to just make the right stops, make the right move, might the God direct our steps to yield to yield to your nudges, to your nudges, to your nudges, to be sensitive and alert my father, to be carried away by our nudges, to be told Elijah, to be Finally, finally, I want us to command the earth to vomit the blessings of God's people, the riches of God's people. Let the sea vomit. Let the land vomit. Let the moon, the sun, and the star vomit. Let all elements of creation in the east, west, north, and south vomit. Let the forces of darkness, the agencies of Satan, let man and woman, let every organization, every institution, every, every nation, every place that has buried, that has swallowed up your blessings, let them vomit it. Let the serpent, the Leviathan, that has swallowed up the blessings, the riches, the honor, the glory of the people of God across the nations, let them vomit it. Let them vomit it. You know, there are some countries in in the in the Islamic nations, if you repent, everything that is your inheritance in the family will be confiscated. It will be denied you. It will be deprived you because you chose to follow Christ. So I want us to pray that it will be difficult for the agents of the devil, human being or spirit being, to hold back what belongs to God's people. Their inheritance must be released by fire. Let it become too hot that the forces holding it cannot hold it anymore. That everything that belongs to the people of God that is being held by somebody or by some organization, by a cultic group, satanic group, let the fire of God burn in their midst. They will release it. Just like the people of Israel, God dealt with them. 
there with Egypt, and Egypt gathered and met Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, do you want to wait until we are finished? Let these people go. Let them go. Let them go. And they in a hurry told them to go. Go in a hurry. Go in a hurry. I want us to begin to pray. Let all the blessings of God's people around the nations in this platform, every person in this platform, let your blessing that is swallowed up by the land, forces of the earth and the heavens and the sea and the land, let it release. Let them be released. Let them be released. Begin to pray and let the eyes of God's people open to see it as it is being released, as it's being vomited. Let the people of God identify it and take hold of it and take hold of it. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your, your, your distance and pray. Unmute yourself, unmute yourself. This is our last prayer. It comes under our control. It is given as Shalom, Pastor. May I unmute? Oh, sorry for that. I want to ask uh, Sister Lizelle Morris. Lizelle Morris, can you briefly round off this prayer? And immediately after that, can I ask uh, the administrator, Brother Zibusiso, to bless the communion quickly? Father, we give you praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. We thank you, dear God, for the opportunity to be able to, to serve as this prayer altar every morning. Thank you for this ministry uh, and this war room opportunity. Thank you that we can lift up the nations to you, oh Father. Thank you that we are coming out of the darkness and into the light. Thank you that weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. Thank you, God, that joy is coming in the morning. Thank you that all of your saints 
saints will rejoice and be glad in you, Father God. We give you praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We thank you, dear God, that the wealth that has been stored up for the righteous is coming. Oh, God is changing hands, oh God, from the wicked to the righteous in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we bless your holy name. We give you praise. We honor you, dear Father. We thank you, dear God, oh Lord Jesus, that you are Lord. We declare your supremacy over our, so our country, South Africa. We, we declare your supremacy, oh dear God, over each and every nation on the continent of Africa. We give you praise, dear God. We bless your holy name. Bless uh, Pastor Hart and his, uh, sorry, Pastor Light and his ministry. Bless him, dear God, and each and every one of his team. Bless each and every one of, of, of the people on this call, oh Father God. Cover them under your precious blood. We pray, dear God, that you bless their families, their businesses by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We commit the rest of the day to you and we honor you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much, woman of God. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, Brazil, can you bless the communion? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we just come before your throne of grace this morning, oh God. Father, we just want to acknowledge your body, your body, Lord God, that was broken on our behalf, oh Father God. Father, we thank you that even as we partake of the communion today, oh Lord God, we are not just partaking of the bread, but we are partaking even of your body, oh Lord God. And your word says that you are the bread of life. Therefore, this morning, we just want to receive the bread of life, oh Lord God. Father, we just want to speak life even into our being. We speak life, oh Lord God, into every situation, into every aspect of our lives as we partake of the bread right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that your word says also that we have defeated the enemy by the blood of the lamb, by the word of our testimony, and by us not loving our lives to the end. Even as we partake of the drink, representing your blood, we just uh, walk into that victory that you have given us. We walk into that victory that you have given us, victory over the enemy. Father, even as we have heard this morning today, O oh Lord God, that, uh, that you have created all things for us, O oh Lord God. Father, we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that each and every one of us is covered under the blood of Jesus. We thank you also for the forgiveness of our sins this morning, O oh Lord God. Father, for without the shedding of the blood, there is no remission of sins. We thank you, O oh Lord God, this morning that the blood of Jesus speaks better things. We thank you, O Lord God, that even as we look into our future, we, there are better things in store for us. There are better things. There is joy that is coming in the morning because of the blood of Jesus. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We can partake, Amen. Bread. We can partake also of the drink that is in your hand, uh, yeah. receiving the life that Christ has given us, and also receiving that joy that he has given us in the morning. Amen. Um, let us partake together right now. If I may just add, Pastor Light, that Psalm, okay, sir. Psalm 103, the word of the Lord says that he forgive all our sins and he heals all our diseases. So just as we have received forgiveness of sins, we receive wholeness for our bodies in the name of Jesus. That Amen. God has done both the forgiveness of our sins and the healing of our, our bodies. And as we partake this morning, that we will know that by his stripes we are healed. In Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we are so thankful for the privilege you've given to us to eat your flesh and to drink your blood, which has taken care of our sin, our error, our weaknesses, and has brought healing to our spirit, to our soul, to our body, and to the work of our hands. Blessed Amen. be your name. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen and amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, on this platform for your tremendous input that have brought this meeting to a great success. Three announcements I want to make. Number one, the Lord laid in my heart that tomorrow it shall be global wealth transfer. Please take note of this. Global wealth transfer. Global wealth transfer. There is something God wants to unlock in the heaven to transfer wealth into the hand of his servants in the different nations of the world. This is global war room. We are going to war tomorrow and God will release wealth and treasures and blessings. It is a wealth transfer, wealth transfer from the hand of the ungodly, from the hand of the wicked. Into the hand of the it's a spiritual war that will be done tomorrow. Don't mean, can you Father. tell somebody, can you please tell somebody, at least one or two persons, at least, not just tell, get them to join tomorrow. Get them to join tomorrow. One or two, if you have two more people. Let God, let them come and partake. That transfer will connect everyone on the platform and as many we shall represent around the globe. But it will be so important for them to connect to this altar. Please call them from this morning. Explain to them to partake of what is going on. Number two announcement, remember, we are preparing for 24 hours, 24 hour prayer chain, which is going to start on Saturday, Saturday, 6 p.m. This Saturday from 6 p.m. to Sunday, 6 p.m. Those of you who are pastors, you need to begin to arrange for your Sunday service. You need to make arrangements so that you will be able to flow. If you have to go to church, you can choose. It doesn't mean you have to be on in the prayer the whole 24 hours. You choose your own time slot when you will come and pray. Everybody should take time slots, time slots. You can stay, stay for three hours or six hours, two hours, day two hours, break it in one, one hour or two, two hour or three hour at a block as your grace can carry. You can stay for like, the last one we did. I was on it for almost 21 hour, but about 21 hour I was there calling on God. So please prepare yourself. It's going to be a war room as never before, a war room in a dimension that will bring glory to God. So prepare yourself for that. And finally, we had a meeting yesterday, some, the admin team, and uh, a, a, we came to a conclusion that the last, that every week on Fridays, every week we would take an offering, just one offering in a week, one offering in a week. You don't, you know for sure that a, a, a movement like this, a ministry like this, expenses are made. Expenses are, we don't talk about money here. We are talking about God giving to the believers around the world all that Jesus died for, all that Jesus died for, it must come back to us. But we need money to put a number of things together, you know, which I explained to the admin team. So I want us to pray that, I mean, prepare ourselves. Every Friday, we have an offering. Every Friday, we have an offering once in a week. God bless you. We will see you tomorrow again, same time, 6 a.m. South African time. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you and strengthen you and make you a living testimony in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The grace, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. 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 Right. Thanks, Love God, the Lord bless you.